Hey, this is Laura from Pearl Soho, and I'm going to demonstrate how to work a ribbed sewn bind off. Um, it's a great bind off for a one by one rib because it really helps maintain that elasticity of a ribbed fabric. Um, let's get started. So the first thing you'll want to do is cut your um, working yarn from your ball of yarn and thread it onto a tapestry needle. I've kind of gone ahead, definitely gone ahead and done that step here. One thing to note is you'll want a length of yarn that is approximately four times the width of what you're going to be working across. So, you know, just kind of eyeball your fabric cut it around four times that long. Um, okay, and now let's jump into the two setup steps. First, um, what I'm gonna do is take my threaded tapestry needle here and I'm gonna insert it purl wise, so from back to front, into this first stitch on my needle and I'm gonna pull that through, like so. Next, um, the next step is kind of seems like a two in one, so bear with me. I'm gonna insert this tapestry needle between this first and second stitch from the back. So like this, you can kind of see it. So from the back, pull it through, and then insert your tapestry needle into this second stitch knitwise from front to back and pull that through. So that's the second step. And now we're ready to do what is a four step repeat. And you're gonna repeat these same four steps until there are only two stitches remaining on your needle. All right, so the first step, insert your tapestry needle knitwise into the first stitch and let that first stitch fall off of the needle. Next, Step two, insert the tapestry needle purlwise into the second stitch on your needle. You can already see the bind off taking, taking shape there. Step three, insert the tapestry needle purlwise into this first stitch on the needle and let it fall off that needle. Remember not to tug too tightly. You wanna have a nice kind of even tension that matches the gauge of your fabric. And now we're gonna do that big step again. I'm gonna take my, my needle between these two stitches from back to front. So just like this, let me get this working yarn out of the way here. Just like this. Once again, here you go, you can see it from above. Pull that through and we're doing that step in order to insert the needle knitwise into that second stitch. All right, so those are your four steps that we're gonna repeat. So back to step one, insert knitwise into the first stitch and let it fall off. Insert purlwise into the second stitch on the needle Insert purlwise into the first stitch on the needle and let it fall off. And now for that fourth and big step, I'm gonna insert my needle between these two stitches, the first and second stitch, pull it through, and then insert it, my needle knitwise into that second stitch. And once again, we have completed the four step repeat. So again, you're just going to keep doing that until you get to the last two stitches. So I'm going to insert my needle knitwise into this first stitch and have it come off. And then I'm going to insert my needle into the very last stitch purlwise and let that drop off. And so that's it. That's the end of the sewn rib bind off. Um, it, you can see how it really melds into the fabric here and it maintains that beautiful elasticity.